Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Denmark 4. Russia 1. Ideally, the game was played in Copenhagen. And what this Danish team has gone through in this tournament. You just, you, you just, you, oh man, th this is one of the best stories ever written in the history of the game. Because they come into this tournament as a dark horse. They did win you in 1992. And we know of the quality that they possess. But when that incident happened with Christian Eriksen that sent shockwaves to the footballing world and thank God Christian Eriksen is alive and well today and he's out of hospital and he's on his road on the road to recovery and let's hope he does play football again for the Danish national team because this Danish national team have rallied and they have fought for Christian Eriksen. They did so against Belgium, but unfortunately they lost the game after going ahead in the second minute. Goal scored by Yusuf Paulsen. But Belgium, they, they rode back and they, they won the game. Brilliance from Kevin De Bruyne. So, with Belgium losing their first game after... The game had been suspended against Finland and Poyan Payo of Finland scored and then Hyber misses his, his penalty. Finland beat beat Denmark. That was also a shocker. Denmark tried against Belgium that I just talked about and they, they, they lost. So they entered match day three on zero points. Finland on three points. Russia on three points after Russia had beaten Finland and Belgium on the top of the group with six points of course they did went on to get all nine points from the group beating Finland two goals to nil well done by Belgium congrats but this video is dedicated to Denmark the Danish football team Kasper Hulman and his boys rallied in a game that they had to win. I played it safe. I predicted a 1-1 a, a draw. I did give Russia the benefit of the doubt. They had a really good record against Denmark. Well, the previous Soviet Union and now Russia and Denmark, I think. They didn't play a lot of games, but I think there's only one match which Russia won. So Denmark did come into the game with their backs against the wall. The head-to-head history and the whole narrative that, that, that's been following the Danish team surrounding the Christian Eriksen situation but this has to be a fairy tale this has to be one of the best fairy tale stories in football history the best player out but this team has shown us that they, they're not just one player. They're better than that. They're not just one player. And this is a commanding victory. This is as commanding as victories get. They, they put out a statement that they shall not be conquered. Or if they are conquered, it's not going to be that easy. They were, they were basically out. They were basically out of the competition. Because I, I really expected something better from this Russian team. But Denmark, that goal by, by, by Damsgaard from outside the box. God damn, what a shot. Damsgaard, take a bow, take a bow. He came into the second match replacing Christian Eriksen. And he was one of the best players on display in the game against Belgium. And that second goal by Yusuf Paulsen. It, it's like everything was just scripted to favor Denmark on the day. It's like all the luck went their way when they needed it. The Russian defender inadvertently passing the ball back to the goalkeeper. But 
instead, well, inadvertently passed the ball to Paulson. Well, he meant to pass it to the goalkeeper. And an easy goal for Yusuf Paulson. It's like Christmas again. We just had Christmas six months ago. And Christmas has come again in Copenhagen. Paulson, thank you very much. Oh, oh my God. This that couldn't have been easier. Wow. But then Russia fought back. They got a soft penalty. Artem Zuba put it away. And I think the Danish players were, were worried. They were definitely worried. But they didn't need to be worried. Because they... They fought back. But they had something else working for them. The Belgians were actually helping them out. After they had went ahead and... They went on to, to beat Finland convincingly two goals to nil, which put Finland on three points. But Denmark, seeing that two goals might not be enough, came up with two more brilliant goals. Listen, Andreas Christensen, I know you're high off the Champions League win with Chelsea and all, but God damn, you could have never put your money on it that a defender in Andreas Christensen would hit one from about 20 yards out to score one of the best goals of the tournament so far. We had two worldies in the game. That Damsgaard goal and that Christensen goal. Andreas Christensen, take a bow. That was simply ridiculous. That was sublime. And to put the icing on the cake, Joachim Mela, with a brilliant counter-attack, put one past a Russian goalkeeper, 4-1. What a performance. This has been one of the best performances of Euro 2020. And I'm not only saying that because it makes a really good story, but it, it was. This team just fought back and they clawed themselves out of the depths of the abyss to pick up a convincing 4-1 victory. This is one of the best victories at the tournament. Has any team scored four in one game? I can't recall. Maybe, maybe, but I can't recall. This that, that was a beating. Russia just received a beating. And Stanislav Chechesov, he, he, he would be a worried man. He was pissed off on the school on the on the sideline. He should be a worried man. They might sack him now. I expected better from Russia. But the Danes fought against all odds. And they picked up a 4-1 victory. And at the end, you could see the team huddled around. And they were checking the score from the Belgium-Finland game. And, and, and when they found out, they began to celebrate. Someone should have known the score. Some, I, I, think they, I think maybe not all the players, but maybe one or two of them knew what was going on. Could have known from the crowd or whatever. But it just it, this is a great story. This is a great story. Denmark go from bottom of the group without a point to second in the group with three points and a better goal difference than both Finland, who come in third, and Russia, who comes last in the group. And the reason why Denmark were able to come in ahead of Finland, even on the head-to-head -head rule, everything got canceled out. Denmark beat Russia, Russia beat Finland, and Finland beat Denmark. So it, it, it was a tie. It was a three-way tie between all three teams. So then goal difference came into play. Denmark with a better goal difference. And that is a, a plus one goal difference compared to a minus two goal difference for Finland, where that might not be good enough to put them through as one of the best third-place teams. Ukraine would be happy about about that that situation because Ukraine has a minus one goal difference and Russia out of the tournament altogether with a minus five goal difference. It it it's a dis, it was a disappointing campaign for the Russians. They could have done better, but don't really want to focus on them too much. I want to focus on this Danish team. This was an inspirational display, and this is why we love the game of football so much. Because we get to see things like this. Denmark would now go into the round of 16 to play Wales. Denmark would fancy themselves to beat Wales. And to go into the quarterfinals. 
where they could meet one of the Netherlands or a third place team from D, E or F. They come up against the Netherlands, they would fancy themselves against the Netherlands, guys. They would. Denmark could make a deep run in this tournament. Maybe all the way to the final. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe this was meant to happen. The Christian Eriksen story propelling the Danish team, inspiring the Danish team all the way to a Euro 20 final. And who knows? Going on to win it. Guys, I'm just saying the Danes could dream now. I'm not overreacting. I'm just saying the Danes could dream now. Because that was simply freaking amazing. That was amazing. And I love it. That's why I had to come in the back seat here. You know, sometimes you have to take a back seat and just give credit to Denmark. Just like how Russia took a back seat today. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. But guys, just these are my quick thoughts, man. That was a that was a lovely game of football to watch. I was watching both games at the same time, and you know um, it was not easy. But I, I found myself watching the Denmark Russia game a bit more often than the the Belgium versus Finland because ah that game got so action packed, man. After after that Dams God goal, uh, before the Dams God goal, I was saying this game is kind of boring, man. But oh man, the game got so entertaining. Mikkel Damsgaard take a bow. Yusuf Paulsen take a bow. Andreas Christensen and Joachim Mela take a bow. And do it all in the name of Christian Eriksen because I'm so happy that he's alive today to witness that. I know the team would dedicate this victory to Eriksen. He deserves it. So guys, all the best to Denmark in the rest of the tournament. I know the fans will be crazy. It will be a frenzy in Copenhagen today and they deserve they deserve to party like it's 1999 guys I'm your boy Dominic Rich subscribe to the channel if you're new like the video if you like it and until next time peace out Rich Squad peace